the kind of recipe for the selection is every brand that I, I choose um, must have something to bring to the, the watch making subject. It could be um, the, the technical uh, uh, points, it could be the design, it could be both. It could be sometimes some pieces with no uh, um, with no pretension about watchmaking, but just about the way uh, the case is made or the dial is made. So it's really, but if there is, at my opinion, nothing with a real uh, identity and it doesn't bring something to the subject, I don't take it. Even if it is the uh, more commercial brand in the world, if, if it is not, uh, at my opinion, I, I don't I don't have the truth about that. This is just a question of test. And but we got a lot of uh, customers and uh, and followers that they, they are on the same frequency. I mean, they say, okay, this is interesting because sometimes this is just I like it, but I don't know why. Uh, that kind of stuff I don't choose. So it's very uh, it's instinctive, in fact. But this is true also after almost thirty years. Uh, it's really a question of uh, emotion and, and rationality, which is a, a difficult mix, but uh, that's the way. It's a weird moment <clears throat> because um, everyone is a little uh, worried because uh, no one knows exactly if it is just a question of um, I mean, a difficulty with the economic situation worldwide, or if the connected watches is uh, is something against uh, the traditional uh, industry, and um, so everyone is wondering what's going on. If it is a real mutation, so if uh, soon uh, it would be like um, a very confidential market. But because the, the situation of the economy and the story about um, the connected watches are actually uh, uh, all together mixed uh, uh, to, to give a, a, a weird uh, situation, actually the visibility is not really uh, um, easy. Uh, so if tomorrow the economy situation is better it will be more easy to see if there is a mutation or if it's just like a, a redistribution of the cards for every players uh, so at the moment we really don't know you know when I when I started my company it was 1988 and I can tell you that, that at that time the market was nothing to compare with today. That means the market was really, really, really small. And it was <clears throat> just a few brands on the market and just a few people would like them. And uh, generally it was uh, mature people. Uh, uh, so it was, uh, it, it was a quiet market. But uh, at the beginning of uh, 95, it start to it start to change. It start to change because in the industry, at one moment, there is a lot of people focus on the Swiss uh, watchmaker, and we we can feel there is some movement at that time, and people start to buy some companies, uh, buy all the brands, relaunch uh, uh, old brands, etc. And because of that, the notoriety of the subject, especially uh, compared to the communication that we had, was. Uh, the, the start of a very big explosion on this market. I mean, if you if you take like a magazine from the from the 90s, the the early 90s, uh, you can you can uh, open the magazine and there is maybe one or two page uh, uh, as uh, ads for uh, watches. Uh, if if you start to look in 98 or two, or the year 2000, may, there is maybe 25 page about. 25 different brands. So it's time to be uh, uh, much more focused and, uh, and, and a lot of uh, new customers start to grow on this, uh, on this attraction. And, uh, and we have a new generation of people concerned and we start to collect 
and we were aware to everything. At the beginning of 2000, it was the real explosion because a lot of uh, person uh, start uh, a new business in, uh, with new brand in the watch industry. And of course, uh, as, the, as the adventure that I had with uh, Richard Mill in 2001, he come uh, to my shop and he said, okay, I want to discuss with you two hours a week about products because I'm, I'm building uh, uh, my own brand. And the two hours start to be 10, 20, 30, 40 hours. And of course, I start to be uh, uh, like a co-founder and shareholder in the company and we work. And because it works very well, I mean, uh, almost at the right beginning, a lot of uh, watchmaker, independent people look at the, this beginning and they say, hey, it, it gives us some trust that maybe and hope that we can maybe go further and, and try our own way. And finally, uh, uh, we, we saw people like Jürgen Verk and, uh, and Max Busser and, and, and even today, HYT is also like a, a result of this new push that we have at the, at the beginning of 2000. And in the same, in the same time, of course, the, 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 the economy uh, uh, between 2000 and 2008 was uh, with uh, all the green uh, light everywhere. So it was uh, very um, easy, <laughs> if I can say, because a lot of new collectors and passionate people start to come and say, ah, and they want to be what? They want to be astonished. They want to be surprised. And, uh, and uh, all that brand still today continue to surprise uh, this community. It depends of the brands. I mean, uh, this is the same story if you, if you ask me, okay, what, what is the, start, the sport that I have to choose? Uh, jogging or, or, or bicycle uh, uh, <laughs> or, I don't know, uh, uh, swimming. So it really depends. You know, when you see, for example, uh, H. Moser, they, they, uh, Edouard Melon uh, uh, bought the company uh, three years ago, and it was an institutional brand from the past, very classical. But generally, when this is an historical brand, uh, most of the people, they feel that the history is the gel of their uh, own brand. It means we have to do always like it used to be 100 or 200 years before. Edouard, uh, uh, he did uh, absolutely the good, um, the good uh, uh, open mind about that, that we come from the past, but we also able to do contemporary and futuristic stuff, but always in the same kind of approach and the same style. Uh, what he did with the Swiss Alp watch is, is a very good joke, but this is, this is, uh, this is at my opinion, the, the perfect way to, uh, to be, you know, uh, not uh, the, the prisoner of the, of the history. So to come back to the, the real shoes, first, it depends what the brand wants to do. You know, I, I saw many, uh, even now, every year, like eight to 15 different people that they come to my shop and, and they, they say, okay, I want to do, uh, I got a project, I want to do a new brand. I want, and they show me what is the, the DNA, what is the, 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 the prototype of the product uh, and, and my opinion is always you know nobody get the truth about that so it just means that it have to be deep with with a solid uh, uh, a solid project it could be uh, very complicated pieces it could be very simple pieces it could be a mix between the both it really depends what you want to do but the, the there is one sure one thing for sure it, it is that you really have to bring something more. If it's, it's just like, if I can say, one more stupid watch, uh, we already got so many brands that we don't need to have something which is just uh, something which doesn't bring uh, a plus to the whole industry. When you visit the whole Basel Fair, actually, uh, after the, the SIHH uh, <laughs> two months ago, I mean, we already got a lot.
the the first point that my opinion is you know the 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 watch's subject concern uh, men and women but not as the same um, not not in the same way and the relation that we have uh, with the time is different uh, from the relation with a woman and uh, with a woman and, and and the time so it means most of the time complicated pieces they just they just uh, scare women because they don't want something even the name complicated pieces like okay it's not my <laughs> I, have, I have some other problems so please and um, uh, so we got some uh, uh, women who, who are also watch uh, addicts but uh, uh, the the good way uh, was to try also something which is complicated complicated but you 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 don't really uh, feel it's complicated and this is not the same complication as uh, the the man like I mean tourbillon perpetual calendar split second chronograph whatever okay it, it it doesn't concern really the woman but on the other hand it was interesting to see some years ago and I did the the ambas the, the, the ambassade for that uh, I mean the the complication poetic for Van Cleef was in was a very good uh, way to treat the complicated pieces for women, but differently that, than for the men. Uh, Christophe Claret, for, for example, uh, you know, with the Margot, is going like a, a poetry approach. It, this is a, a very complicated pieces, but you play with it. I mean, it's not a headache, how to set, how to uh, interpret, how to... Okay, so, at my opinion, this is the good way. And the last point, very important also, is that if the, 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 the interesting watch for a lady is just the reduction, as you mentioned, the reduction of a man uh, watch, this is already not really the good subject. Sometimes I, I rather prefer that it's just, uh, it's just the, the design that we did for women and we are not concerned to do this exactly same reference for men. The, the best example, in my opinion, is uh, the Reine de Naples uh, of Breguet. I mean, it, it, there is only this reference with a lot of variations, but this is a watch for the, 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 the woman. And, uh, and there is not just the equivalent uh, in, the, in the rest of the collection. So, at, but my opinion, this is the good, the, the good approach. See you soon. Bye-bye.